Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about words. Sounds kind of boring, right? Well, let me assure you guys that it's not. We're going to have some stories that will surely tickle your discovery bone. Without further ado, let's find out the top 10 interesting word origins. What better way to start the countdown than this one? Trivia is a fairly recent noun form of the word trivial, which comes from the Latin trivialis. Trivialis means that which is in or belongs to the crossroads or public streets, hence that may be found everywhere, common. It is derived from trivium, a place where three roads meet. Another simple and very often used word on our number 9 place is Earth. Almost every language has a name of its own for the planet Earth. It's called Terra in Portuguese, Danya in Turkish or Arde in Dutch, and even Pamunt in Romanian, just to name a few. The common word or thread of all these languages is that they were all derived from the same meaning of ground or soil. The modern English word of Earth is said to have originated more than a thousand years ago. Just as this language evolved from Anglo-Saxon English-German, with the migration of certain Germanic tribes to the British continent in the 5th century. The word Earth comes from the Anglo-Saxon Erda, meaning ground or soil, as we said. In the Old English, the word became Ertha. There are also speculations that the origins of the word may be from an Indo-European language-based er, which produced more modern adaptations of the word used in languages today. On our number 8, we have the good old word whiskey. What's whiskey, right? A spirit distilled from malted grain, especially barley or rye. But let's get down to it. Whiskey is shortened from whiskeybee, which comes from the Old English whiskey bay, derived from two Gaelic words, whisk, water, and bithu, life. Thus, whiskey literally means water of life. Accurate enough, right? In Ireland and Scotland it is obtained from malt and in the US it's commonly made from corn or rye. Spelling distinction between Scotch whiskey or Irish and American whiskey is a 19th century innovation. On our number 7 we have the word disaster. It's a serious disruption of the function of a community or a society involving widespread human, material, economic and environmental losses and impacts which exceeds the ability of the affected community or society to cope using its own resources. Wow, that was long. So we found out what it means, but let's find out where it comes from. Disaster comes from the Greek dis, which also is derived from the number two and is referred to double or two times and aster meaning star. This, spelled D-I-S, should not be confused with this, spelled D-Y-S, which means bad or sinister. As the most common misinterpretation suggests, this word comes from bad star. It was known throughout the ages that two stars together at the same time could cause something disastrous or catastrophes. Leave it to the Greeks to blame calamities on unfavorable planetary positions and stars. Almost halfway through the countdown and we arrive at number 6, and the word sycophant. A sycophant is a person who acts obsequiously towards someone important in order to gain advantage. Technically, sycophant means someone who denounces someone else as a fig smuggler, according to Charlotte Higgins, culture blogger at The Guardian. Since the beginning of the 6th century, Athens outlawed transporting food, except olives, outside the city-state's borders. People mostly broke the law by smuggling figs. And back then, Athenian law permitted blackmailing for profit. These blackmailers, or sycophantes in Greek, wanted to earn some extra cash and threatened to tell the courts about others' fig smuggling habits. On our number 5 spot we have the word assassin. Assassin is an individual who murders an important person for political or religious reasons. Members of a fanatical Muslim sect during the Crusades in the 11th and 12th centuries used to murder leaders on the opposing side by intoxicating themselves by eating hashish. They started going by the name of hashishin, meaning hashish eaters in Arabic. The word assassin first popped up in English culture around the 16th century via French and Italian languages from the Arabic word hashishin, which at that point was the commonly accepted name of the legendary Ismaili group of assassins which had been long wiped out. On our number 4 we have the word quarantine. A quarantine is used to separate and restrict the movements of persons. It is a state of enforced isolation. This is often used in connection to disease and illness, such as those who may possibly have been exposed to a communicable disease. The word quarantine originates from the Venetian dialect form of the Italian quaranta giorni, meaning 40 days. This is due to the 40-day isolation of ships and people before entering the city of Dubrovnik in Croatia. This was practiced as a measure of disease prevention related to the Black Death. 
Between 1348 and 1359, the Black Death wiped out an estimated of 30% of Europe's population and a significant percentage of Asia's population. The original document from 1377, which is kept in the archives of Dubrovnik, states that before entering the city, newcomers had to spend 30 days at Trentine in a restricted place, originally nearby islands, waiting to see whether the symptoms of Black Death would develop. Later, isolation was prolonged to 40 days and was called quarantine. On our number three we have Turkey. Turkey the bird is named after Turkey the country, despite being no turkeys in Turkey. <laughs> the bird was first introduced to Europe via Turkish trade routes. The Turks got them from the Americans, of course. People started referring to them as those turkey birds, since, as far as they knew, that's where they came from and the name stuck. Fun fact, the French word for turkey is dinde, from dinde, or from India. In Portuguese, they're called Peru. That must be pretty hilarious for the Peruvians, we'd say. On our number two, we have the word denim. Denim comes from Nîmes, France. It was therefore originally called Serge de Nîmes, or fabric from Nîmes. The serge soon disappeared and left us with denim. Denim was traditionally colored blue with indigo dye to make blue jeans, although jean formerly denoted a different, lighter cotton fabric. The contemporary use of the word jeans comes from the French word for Genoa, Italy, Gen. The first denim trousers were made. Denim initially gained popularity in the US in the 1873 when Jacob Davis, a tailor from Nevada, manufactured the first pair of rivet reinforced denim pants. His concept for making reinforced jeans was inspired when a lady customer requested a pair of durable and strong pants for her husband to chop wood. When Davis was about to finish making the denim jeans, he saw some copper rivets lying on the table and used the rivets to fasten the pockets. And we've arrived. Here we go with our number one for today. Music has been around for thousands of years with people enjoying it, discussing it or hating it. That's why we thought that this term would be the most interesting one of them all in today's countdown. And we're referring to rock and roll, of course. The word roll is used since the Middle Ages and it then meant to have sex. Let's go on a roll in the hay or to roll under the sheets were popular back then. Also, the word rock was used since the 17th century to mean shaking or disturbing. In the early 20th century, rock was somewhat morphed to being used as a slang by black Americans referring to dancing to a music with a strong beat. Around the same time, these two terms had naturally merged together, typically referring to very suggestive or scandalous dancing as well as simply having sex. The term got its biggest boost through a Cleveland, Ohio disc jockey named Alan Freed, who played early forms of rock and roll, back then a mix of R&B with country music, on his radio show and called the mix rock and roll, though he obviously didn't coin the term itself. That was it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed our fun facts about words. We sure did. If you thought about some interesting word origins that didn't make our list today, be sure to comment below and let us know. Also, hit us with a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for a weekly dose of Comperio.